case you needed another reason to do a double take when it comes to making life-changing surgical decisions, here's another statistic. As if the, what, 41% self-deletion rate wasn't enough, or the overwhelming number of stories coming out about people regretting their irreversible decisions, here's another one. Hidden dangers of gender-affirming care. Yo, turning your Audi into an innie, or vice versa. 55% of trans women who have bottom surgery are uh, in so much pain that they need medical care years later. Yeah, and you're going to continue to need medical care years later because you're fighting against your own biological processes that you need constant medical intervention in order to make your decision stick within your body. Uh according to a study of dozens of cases, okay, might not seem like a large sample size, but the people actually going all the way instead of just coming out in June saying, well, I'm gender fluid, or I like to kiss girls as well, and I'm bisexual, whatever dumb shit they want to fucking proselytize. This shit makes me fucking sick, all right? And I just seen that we're past, you know, the appropriate amount of time where I can start dropping F-bombs and I can get a little bit more graphic with this stuff because it's going to be a graphic video, as it should be, because this shit is fucking horrific. And up to a third struggle to use the toilet or have sex. Great, wonderful, fantastic. So 55% of dudes that create a fucking pussy out of their filleted dicks can't use the fucking bathroom appropriately. So it's not enough that you got some kind of warped ass fucking pussy afterwards. You got to walk around with a shit bag because you can't even go to the fucking toilet appropriately good life choices oh it's all of this stuff is totally reversible bro don't worry if you have second thoughts about it nothing's wrong about that and then at the same time oh right you're chemically castrated <laughs> jokes on you more than half of trans women trans half of dudes who have a bottom surgery which is again lop off the old fucking twig and berries and then shove it up in there and don't worry the feelings exactly the same are in so much pain years later Years later, seethe and dilate, you fucking retards. Oh, they need medical attention. A study suggests up to a third of patients who struggle to use the toilet or suffered sexual issues 12 months after the operation. I ain't no doctor or anything like that. I just opine on these things. I'm just wondering, okay, if you got a dick and you're trying to turn it into a vag, okay, now how does the mucous membrane work? Like, is this just a constant battle against KY jelly and then it just not working anymore? Like, what do we... This is all because a bunch of people People are continued to be propagandized and that they start to feel like they should actually be a woman like what are we doing here you bunch of fucking sick bastards up to a third of patients also struggle yes use the toilet or couldn't fuck for 12 months after the operation which sees patients transition from male to female given surgery uh, surgically constructed vagina which is yep lop off the balls um split the dick in half shove it up in there and everything will be fine researchers uh from the woman's college hospital okay cool and they're like what do we do with dicks we normally just work with pussies like i don't know what to do here you know, normally we deal we deal with gashes not that what the fuck is that the medical records of 80 patients who sought care from the clinic between three uh three months and five years after having the operation five years five fucking years oh but they won't tell you this okay they'll just you you come out to some politically motivated counselor about well i think i would be uh, i would be in a much better mental health or mental health or a mental headspace if if i became a woman okay cool now we'll just start with the we'll start with the estrogen treatments we'll start putting you know fake titties on you and We'll do all that stuff and there won't be a problem at all whatsoever. You don't want, you don't even need to give it a second thought. Sick fucks, especially up here in Canada. Oh God, this place makes me sick. Analyze the medical records of 80 patients. Yes, who sh uh, sought the care. Campaigners say the findings demonstrate the complex surgeries like vaginoplasty. Yeah, it's not quite the, it's not the same as rhinoplasty where you get, you know, swollen eyes for a second as your nose heals. Yo, this is taking your dick and inverting it. Who would have thought there was complications oh, months, if not years afterwards, because your body's like, yo, no, you're, you're, you're supposed to have balls, but where'd they go? often carrying risks that patients are unaware of. Of course, purposefully unaware of, because you're supposed to be progressive, fuckers. At a time where there has been a dramatic uptick in the number of gender reconstructive surgeries in the United States and Canada. Why exactly? Why is that happening? Hmm, does it have anything to do with any time you receive an ad or you watch 
anything and published and pushed by mass media, it's all about how great it is to be a part of the alphabet mafia. Hmm, who could have possibly thought that was happening, let alone the indoctrination camps that are masquerading as a public school system. Bro, you can't escape this shit. But just taking a look, we got we got a chat right here. Reported symptoms of fake pussy patients. Okay, 43 report pain and 53%. Great. Dilation, so making sure that your gash doesn't, you know, close up and heal it self okay because women as magical as they are for a multitude of different reasons don't have to worry about their box you know closing up or anything like that but when you're a dude trying to masquerade as a woman you need to constantly have the uh, old little uh, steel instruments the old dilators to run around you need to walk around with a you know, fucking bud light bottle shoved up in there so it doesn't heal over uh, bleeding oh good sexual function concerns well if there's paint well it depends on what you want to do at the same time a dial yeah if it's all healing up and then bleeding on top of that you would expect sexual function concerns vaginal discharge well it's probably infected and it's not exactly the discharge that you're looking for vaginal tightness i think that probably goes up to dilation concern urinary issues yeah because the pussy's a lot more important than just simply sexual function you bunch of fucking weirdos a uh, wound healing issue is that kind of redundant uh aesthetic dissatisfaction oh it doesn't look like the one that i've seen in the porn videos because i've become too sexualized and that kind of led me down this fucking disturbing path god you people are like i'll tell you what um i don't think about the sick shit until i see articles like this all the time okay like i can take a look at you know broads on the side there it's like some of them are fat some of them are ugly some of them are brie larson okay i'm not constantly thinking about oh my god what their face would look like you know getting smushed by a pillow in my bed like i don't know maybe it's because i'm a man of a certain age it's like i'm over all of that juvenile fan or fantasy about this stuff i just deal with reality okay who's better than one and if you got to construct a pussy do you really ha need one so yeah uh, it looks more like an axe wound than a perfectly shelled clam. Terrific. Hair in the vag- Oh, I think that would be a problem for your prospective partner as opposed to you. Unless, of course, it gets itchy, but then that kind of goes around to the rest of the stuff. Uh, anatomic irregularity. Yeah, you're a dude with a- I'm running out of synonyms that I can call that ushy gushy fucking mess. That's about the last one, but there's another four-letter one that you- If you say it, oh, you get demonetized. Even though this video is probably going to get demonetized. Maybe I'll get that mad and I'll just drop the old c bomberu afterwards. Um, oh, mental health concerns? That's only 10 people reporting that? Bruh, I think you're undercharting that, but what does that have to do with getting a fake box? Uh, loss of depth? Yeah, but you're becoming a woman and they're not very good at that stuff to begin with. Uh, Maldor? Maldor? Oh yeah, it's, it's like rotting flesh. So yeah, you would have a bad smell if that's what Maldor is. Okay. Mal odor. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, vaginal canal closure. Isn't that a dilation problem as well? Numbness. Oh cool. So that's soy boy. That's just like, yes, the trans women are women that are down there plowing away. You don't feel anything. And vaginal dryness. I thought that would be sexual function concerns at the same. All that stuff is super fucking confusing and ultra haram. Um, you know, it was the opposite side, because I was going to do this story at the same time, well, not at the same time, it was between this story and that story about, I don't know, I just keep gaining weight and my tits get bigger, I have this rare condition, stop it, but it's funny, because these stories that are popular or are pushed by these, let's just call these what this is, okay, trash outlets, sort of, like, they get clicks, but they don't really provide any sort of helpful information that's why at least i think okay sometimes i might be off on this but that's why some people like to consume this type of information through the eyes or at least through the presentation of somebody opining on these topics because they'll at least throw in the additional context needed because they're just reading this that's like good trans women are women and they're brave but there are some side effects being reported and it's like obviously fucking obviously Research in October indicated the number of patients going under the knife increased more than 150 fold. You don't think that that's a problem. You don't think that's a problem, okay? Because this is a lifetime commitment to big pharma, okay? Because these surgeries aren't going to be one and done. Your body knows what it should be doing, okay? And it's trying to accomplish those goals. You will have a structural problem with you. We're going to try to heal that up as appropriate, okay? Your body is normally trying to, if you're a woman, it's going to be pumping estrogen throughout your system. If you're a man, to a much lesser extent, okay? And if you want to become a woman for whatever fucking reason, I guess if all the indoctrination works and you think that being a man is so bad that you need to just not hop over to the other 
your team. You don't understand that you need to constantly inject hormones into your body, that you constantly need to be taking pills, and that you need to go under the knife on a fairly regular basis. And that works in the other way too. Do or women becoming men the exact same thing. A lot of regret in that direction. But the one thing is very consistent between both groups. You end up as sterile as a fucking liger. It is, uh, oh, it is thought that the reduced stigma and heightened awareness around trans issues have contributed to the rise. Yes, of course, it's become more publicly acceptable by the fucking weirdos in charge. The latest study, Canadian researchers looked at the medical records of patients who sought care between 2018 and 2020 at WCH's newly opened pro or post-operative care clinic. Yeah, it's good business. All 80 patients had the original vaginoplasty procedure outside the woman's call, the woman college healthcare system but were experiencing symptoms that needed follow-up care and they're like because i think that involves some extra extracurricular insurance Ooh, that's not covered by blue cross love it i don't know how it's categorized right now I'm, i'd imagine it'd probably be under cosmetic care and even still, you got to pay at least a percentage of that out of pocket. So not quite as lucrative as the American business, but up here in Canada, you're still footing the bill in some form or fashion. And still, you know, a lifelong customer of Big Pharma, regardless. Some has traveled as far as India and Thailand to have the operations. No, you're taking away some of the mystique of Thailand. I'm never going to Southeast Asia. Fuck that shit. Not rolling the dice over there, uh, which the researchers say may have explained the relatively high number of medical complications. Yeah, that's what that's what it is. Most common symptoms reported. We already ran or we went through all that shit. Okay. Yo, yeah, we got more stats and all that shit, but I want to keep this fairly brief. Uh, try to trim some of the fat, like what they're doing with bottom surgeries, such as vaginoplasties and phallosophasties. Yeah, making dicks where they don't normally exist or shouldn't exist fucking haram uh genital reconstruction surgery by trans women trans er, by women transitioning to men yeah chicks with identity problems and daddy issues uh cost around twenty five thousand dollars see it's good business why do you think this shit gets constantly pushed Follow the fucking money. It's pretty simple. It's quite clear from the most up-to-date studies that vaginoplasty and other genital surgeries don't work the way people hope they will. Yeah, imagine that. But hey, just continue to push it because that's a passable, large-shouldered woman. That's right there. This is one of these points in history and the rest of this shit makes me fucking sick to my stomach. So this is going to be one of those... Th yeah. One of those epochs in history that eventually, and hopefully, if we survive that long going to be looked back on and it's like wow you guys like medically experimented on a bunch of different people oh under the guise of caring oh okay cool you purposefully shortened people's lifespans you made them sterile all under the guise of um they felt that way huh but you didn't indulge in the fantasies of people that are obviously schizophrenic huh fucking weird so what makes that different oh because it involved sex and that's far more acceptable in today's day and age oh i understand you guys are all fucking monsters hopefully we get to that point in time in my history other than or rather if that doesn't happen you know at least my kids will be able to laugh at that shit from afar and i don't have to worry about any of this shit because my kids are going to public school you can go get fucked if you think that's gonna happen so with all that said thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don consuelo i want you to follow your gut and get after it take care everyone